The Jura Park constituency is predominantly into agriculture, with more than 85% of the constituents engaged in peasant farming. Some communities in the area include Hang, Ulu, Vinvin, Sangwe, and many others. The constituency has since 1992 tilted towards the National Democratic Congress politically. In terms of parliamentary, however, the NDC's Francis J. Firu Kobia represented the Jirapa constituency between 1992 and the year 2000. He was replaced by Edward Salia, also of the NDC, who also served two consecutive terms and was re-elected on his sick bed in the 2008 parliamentary election to continue a third term. Honorable Edward Salia, however, died on 7 April 2009 after a long battle with illness, necessitating a by-election. Dr. Francis Bawana Dakra of the NDC won the seat with a majority of 9,337, representing 59.0, to beat the then MPP candidate and immediate past district chief executive, Justin Bayele Dakra. Francis Bawana Dakra only served up to 2012 and lost to Paul Derek Goba. Paul Derek Goba contested but lost the NDC's parliamentary primaries on two occasions in the Jirapa constituency. After that, he contested as an independent candidate and managed to snatch the Jirapa seat from the NDC in 2012. Dr. Francis Bawana, however, launched a comeback, defeating Mr. Goba in 2016. Dr. Bawana lost the NDC's last parliamentary primaries to a former district chief executive for Jirapa, Cletus Sedu Dapla, who is battling it out with Paul Derek Goba, who has now switched camps to the MPP. If it was any new person, I would have been worried. But this is a man, you know, when you look at it, I don't even believe that the man is an MPP. Because <laughs> this is a man who was NDC, later did independent, later claimed he is now MPP. So the MPP themselves, I'm not sure they have that trust for that man. You know, he's just something, he's looking at his personal development. Otherwise, you can't be gallivanting from party to party. Just for, for what purpose? You understand? I'm not, I'm not perturbed at all. We, we defeated him flatly in 2016. So I can assure you that the man is already defeated. So I'm never perturbed about the fact that I'm contesting with that same man. As a young person growing up, you know, having known, you know, the constituency very well, I, I have all the developmental challenges in my fingertips. Now that I know the challenges, what I need to really, you know, solve those problems is for the people to let me represent them in Parliament. And I believe that come December 7th, the good people of Jirapa will vote for Clay Tusedu Dapla and vote for my presidential candidate, His Excellency John Dramani Mahama, for us to team up to solve the many teaming problems that I have just mentioned. I bring leadership of humility. You know, I'm down to earth, I respect, and I believe my people know that, and they are going to vote for me. A campaign team member for Cletus Dapla says, the former DCE has a track record that will make it easy for him to win the Jirapa seat. I, I live in Jirapa here, and I knew how he worked. Very hard, he's a very competent person. He's a youth, very energetic. And he's a grassroots person. He likes development. He likes to serve his people. He's very competent. So, Honorable Cletus is one of the persons I think that if you bring him back, he was this year, only 22 months, less than at least the period that everybody is supposed to say. But everybody was so happy. The people wanted him to even stay. That's why the ADC lost power. When he left office, everybody was crying. So I think that Honorable Cletus said to the plan, He's the best person that we can vote for and get a needed development. According to him, most people in the constituency are yearning for the NDC. In his turn of office, we saw the way the development of Jirapa was speeding. When he left office, everything has come to a standstill. You can look at the town. The town rose, the people are claiming that they are doing it. It was awarded on the leadership of Olu Kulisi Dapla. He handed over this work to the contractor. This year, 2020, they claim they are doing town rules. Mr. Lati, you are in Jirapa. I won't tell you the story. You can go into the town and see what is happening. Everything has come to a standstill. Paul Derek Goba, however, says his decision to join the MPP is as a result of the good policies of the Nanado-led government. 
free education. Alin Van Kati, he beat a year so chat, that a minute well year. Presidents, take a free education by Yayo, Yil Van Lair. Go look at the guy's school. The hat can bang that at your office. The Bola Nantonga school. Now, in that school, 1961, family one. From 1961 to 1979, Nabai University of Makikubu. I will eat Kanyanatara I got to the school fees. But in He explains that. He is not seeking re-election to enrich himself, but to bring the needed development to the Jirapa constituency. The son of Simon Diedon Dombo, one of the founding fathers of the NPP, says the NDC must be voted out in the Jirapa constituency because they have not appreciated the loyalty of the people in the area. If people say we are affiliated to NDC, there is no historical uh, backing as regards that this party has done anything for this region other than the fact that NDC Rawlings created the, the region, Upper West, NDC Rawlings created uh, 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 Jirapa constituency in terms of separating it and chose strategically a very popular son at the time, Salia. That's it. If you look at the candidate we now have, this is a man who uh, in 2012 was then identified with the NDC. He contested the, uh, the, the, the parliamentary primaries against the certain NDC MP, Dr. Francis Dakura. Now, Der, Paul Dergoba, who is the, 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 the man in question, contested the certain MP and lost. He says, Paul Dergoba's decision to switch camp to the NPP is a step in the right direction and that it may give the party its first victory in the constituency since 1992. We recognize quality, we recognize talent, we recognize value, and we recognize that in the current, uh, uh, what do you call, um, parliamentary candidate, Paul Dergoba. So we believe in this person who has been there before, he's been a parliamentarian before, you know, through turbulent waters, he won against all odds. I believe that we are in a much, much stronger position than ever before to, uh, to regain the seat for Dumbo. That's a missing link in the UP tradition. But what are the key development issues confronting the Jirapa constituency? We don't have good roads. Uh, even the, the communities around, we don't have... Uh, better roads linking communities to one another. So it's not easy traveling from one community to the other. So I think that is something that is uh, retrogressing our development. In fact, there are no schools. We are in need of water. We are in need of electricity. In fact, when you look at the villages, where the agricultural system, where people farm and take their harvest how to even transfer, uh, transport it to the town and sell and make money because of the road networks, the bad road system. Some constituents shared their views about who will best represent their interests in parliament. The NPP government is so committed to development. I've, so, I've seen that uh, the roads we are talking of, we've started seeing some constructions ongoing. So to me, I think that if we give them the chance again, all those problems will be resolved. If you go into the community, say, Honorable oh, Clearly was DC for only some few months. Oh, no, but his opponent was MP for four years. Let them mind the records. And you see that Honorable oh, Clearly records is for him. And he's the best person to lead Jirapa uh, uh, constituency for now. From Jirapa here in the Upper West region, my name is Latif Mahama, City News.